All right, are we ready to get started? Okay. Okay, you guys ready over there? All right. Say goodbye to outdated feminine hygiene products of the past. We created Hempress because we believe women deserve better. Our mission is to encourage and empower women to improve their health through our 100% natural products that are less harmful to both the consumers and the environment. We'll also be offering our products at a reasonable price so that our consumers don't have to um, compromise on quality for budget. Um, according to persistence market research, um, by 2026, the market for um, feminine hygiene products is expected to exceed 38 billion, with the market segment for um, napkins, pads, and tampons um, growing 68% of that market share. And then in addition, worldwide, there's a call for um, equal rights, you know, convenience, um, basically better standards, particularly for women. So we think that now is the best time to enter this market. So we're entering the market with our first two products, which are gonna be our Hempress pads and liners. So all of our pads and liners are gonna be made from a blend of 60% hemp and 40% organic cotton, which is gonna be a lot safer than traditional blends, brand, blends, which are made of typically bleach cotton and plastic. So they're also gonna be more sustainable. All of our pads and liners are gonna be individually wrapped in a biodegradable hemp cloth. So this is gonna be a lot more discreet and environmentally friendly than traditional loud plastic packaging. We're gonna have 36 liners or pads per package, which is pretty typical across the board for feminine hygiene products. And we will have three absorbencies, light, medium, and heavy. So women can choose the product that best suits their cycle. Hempress is dedicated to the empowerment of our women. Um, we believe that starting more conversations about women's health will help improve female health around the world. So to do that, we are partnering with Support the Girls and their Happy Period Project. So for every box of pads and liners that we sell, they will distribute one to females around the world who don't have access to these products. To enter the market, we will be using a cost-based pricing strategy so that we can cover our cost of donations as well as make a big enough profit margin. Um, this will put us at about seven to nine dollars a box, depending on the absorbency, which um, puts us at the bottom of the price range scale for our competitors. Um, <laughs> Um, we, the, after about a year of this, we will transition to value-based pricing to eventually reach our goal of $15 a box, which puts us at the medium to upper range of the price for our competitors. Um, if this is not going as planned, after a year of value-based, we will transition to good value-based so that we can build customer relations and our brand. We will mostly promote our uh, products through social media and by gaining partnerships with other organizations who seek solutions surrounding feminine hygiene. Our primary target market is focused on environmentally conscious millennials who will see the most value in our products and will also be the easiest to reach through social media. Once we release our products, we can promote them through paid advertisements and coupons. By partnering up with other organizations, we can promote to places that we cannot easily reach through social media, and this can help us expand our market. We believe we can attract, attract a lot of customers if we can show how much more absorbent and sustainable our pads are. Uh, we will also design our advertisements with consideration to diversity, making sure we can attract women of different ethnicities and body types. Um, so we have a four-part distribution strategy. Um, first, we're going to be in natural grocers, and we're going to be focusing our products in the Pacific Northwest because people here are very uh, naturally and sustainability inclined. Um, and then second, we're going to be online at our own website and to incentivize people to shop online at our website, we're going to be offering a subscription box service. Uh, third, we're going to be on Amazon and we're going to be using their smart technology to push uh, products uh, to the people who are also shopping for uh, different natural and sustainable products. And then fourth, we're going to be in naturopathic uh, doctor's offices. But we do realize that women are uh, solely or mainly purchasing their feminine hygiene products um, in grocery stores. And so uh, the first option is where we're going to be uh, making the most of our profit. It's time to provide women with the feminine hygiene products they deserve. Because when it comes to your health, hemp is queen. Thank you. Awesome product, love it. Um, been thinking about doing this for a long time, so it's awesome to see it. Um, so one question I have is given the, the challenging physical nature of the product, um, how do you envision using social media as a primary form of promotion? Um, a lot of YouTubers and um, some of the other teams have brought up using um, 
those so kind of social icons. They'll do things um, in BuzzFeed along the same lines. We'll test products um, and give re reviews back to their viewers. Um, and so we looked at that as a way of um, of advertising through social media and also doing um, videos of absorbency testing and things like that um, so that it can really show what our product can do as well as um, get the trust from those other people that they already have the trust of their viewers. So just building off of that. In addition to that, um, so as far as the design and our actual marketing scheme goes, um, typically with like organic natural things, it tends to be um, geared towards older generations and you know a little bit more of that like kind of hippie stereotype. So we really wanted to make sure it was also geared towards um, younger women and um, it's a little bit more of like the hip and cool, it's a little bit more of the trendy as well as focusing on. So we're getting a little bit of best of both worlds with that one. And I think something that would be key with that is to come up with really out of the box creative ways of, of showing absorption mm -hmm. rather than what we envision the same, what we see the same thing on TV, just go completely out there and crazy to get people's attention. No, like blue yeah. liquid on the, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> and that's a, a big focus of our product too, and of our, our company is like increasing conversations about uh, menstrual cycles, and so not, you know, it's not, our advertisements aren't gonna be a woman running through a field of flowers in a white dress. It's gonna be the reality of we have things to do, and this is part of life, so.